What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Madden Subscriber Believe. This is the off season. This is the off season. This is where funny stuff happens. Where this is where the funniest stuff happens because you don't know what's gonna happen. And everything's unpredictable. By the way, I wanna since you know the news basically spoils it. If we go to transactions, if we go to be re retired. Yo, the Texans who claimed the number one overall pick, they fired Bill O'Brien. And hold on real quick, I gotta mute someone in the fucking VC. Fuck you, Pancake. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, so right now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because guess who is the coach of, guess who's the coach of the Texans now? If I can, if we can scroll down. Yes, that's right. The John Madden is the coach of the Texans. He's going to bring him down from the ground up. And he is going to rebuild the Texans. And here's Kyle Dela Cruz. Kyle Dela Cruz, if you don't know, he's David Dela Cruz's little brother. And somehow, he's now the coach of the Titans. And guess what? It looks like the news. The news really love Kyle Dela Cruz very much. Here it is. Kyle Dela Cruz masters the strong as he announces the Titans' new head coach. Whereas is the players love De Dela Cruz. Titans found a great leader in Dela Cruz. You know, everyone loves David Dela Cruz. Now, I'm going to basically spoil this. Nobody's in free agency. No subscribers in free agency for the first time. Damn. But anyway, uh, let me quickly show it off. Who retired in the draft? Um, not retired during the draft. Let me, let me quick show off who retired. Most notable names include... Um, Josh Allen, the left end, not the quarterback. He's still somehow in the league. Saquon Barkley, Juju Smith, Jamal Adams, anything else? Yeah, Clyde Edwards, Aware, and my and Mikel Hardman. They they all retired. So that is fun. Anyway, let's show off who is all right. Let's show off the draft class. So this is the where the combine happens because this can make or break a team. So here it is. Let's show off by quarter. Let's show off by positions. So quarterback, go to fight Kev right here. Combat reports a 7.1. He's good at everything. He's second place in everything except for the 40 yard dash. He can run. I don't know if he can run in real life, but yeah. Walter Turmoil. He can broad jump, but that's it. He can only jump. And Walter Turmoil. He's looking like a bus again. Nick Alonso's a bus. Like literally, his combat's a 4.9. Garbage. So yeah. Then Easton Westchurk is the best QB in the in the draft at the combine report as of a 7.0. He can do everything except he was second place in the 40 yard dash. And the only thing he can do is he can't bench press. Like he's literally built like a twig. Harry Potter, he's pretty bad at everything except he can lift bench press third place. And now Rodrigo Yu-Gi-Oh! He, he can bench press. He's first place in the bench press at the combine. Damn. Rodrigo, he's not really that amazing at anything. Next up, bro, next up, we got Lee with Truck James. Even though his name is Lit Truck, as in you got a truck, your opponents to get by. He can not lift at all. He's, he's not strong, but he can run. So that so he can run. Next up, the legend himself, Sequel Uncut, did terrible in the combine. Then Jerome, not Bettis. Well, he's not really amazing at either. Wide receivers, it's Omar Delgado right here. He's he's good at jumping and he can bench press. Damn it, Omar is built like a fucking twig. Next up, we got Drake Barnes. He can run and scrap Lasley. Damn, she can bench press and she can jump. Damn. Mike Hunt, the legend himself, did horrible at the draft combine. Sarah, though, she can jump. She can jump, though. And Noah Melvin himself. He's not really that he he did, he's not really that good. Tight end, the Ocean Man himself is in the draft, and and he he's he's the best tight end ever. And now left guard, the first ever offensive lineman, hungry Howie. He's so hungry that he is built different. He can bench press and he can run. Damn, that's something you see rare. Just a, just someone who's built and can also run. They got the best, in my opinion, the best player in this draft, Mansa Malik. He can run, and that's it. I mean, he is pretty agile, though. Next up, we got the left end, Sleepy Pancake. I forgot to scout him, and he is supposed to be a mid-first round talent. He can, yo, he <laughs> he's good at the 20-yard shuttle and the bench press. He can lift. That's good for him. 
Next up, William Afton, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Y'all know who William Afton is. He can do everything except he can't jump. So, yeah. Next up, we got the rattle of a sign linebacker, Mal Plays. He can jump, and he's good at the 20-yard shuttle, which is good. Cornerback, Luke Adams is right here. He can. He's good at the whole three-cone thing. Jimmy Radiator, best player in the draft. He just can't jump, though. That's the problem. But he can do everything else in the cornerback. Next up, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Dino Man Extreme. He can, he can do the 40-yard dash and the vertical jump. <laughs> Next up, the free safety. Vorpex Floors. He's the best free safety, except he can't lift. Fucking garbage ass. Shit, strong safety knowing, no kicker, no punter. It, that's that. That is the draft class. Now we just gotta actually simulate to the draft because that's where the funny stuff happens. Let's simulate to draft. This is fun. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my god. And now here it is. Now, anything happened in free agency um, available? How about league signings? Oh, Henry Ruggs. Damn, the guy who went to the wide receiver that went to the Super Bowl. He's a Texan. And and John Madden's first thing he did was fire Deshaun Watson, their starter. And now they have no qu quarterback, actually. Damn, that's that's surprising. And Jerry Judy went, went to the Saints. Damn. So now Monk doesn't have a best friend anymore. Anything else? Not really. Joe Burrow went to the Packers. Damn. Kyle Murray, he went to the Jags. Damn. So there's a lot of shakeup during this trip thing. But anyway, y'all know what you came here for. Let's start the draft. Stimulate draft. Now I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Start drafting. Alright, here is the picks. Texans, pa Texans 1, 2 Patriots, 3 Seahawks, 4 Vikings, 5 the Chiefs, 6 the Rams, and 7 the Crusaders. Here it is, guys. The first overall pick in the in the season two Madden Subscriber League draft. It's go to find Kev. Go to find Kev. He's gonna be a new face of the franchise for them Houston Texans. Oh my God, this that was kind of predictable, but hey, they got a new brand new face of the franchise. Go to find Kev. He was actually pretty decent in Madden 20, but now he is the man in Madden 21. Hopefully, he's a 77 overall though. Next up, round one pick two, the Patriots. Change all fans that are starting quarterback, so turmoil probably, probably won't go in. So who will change all fans, aka Jason Waz's team best friend be? Omar Delgado is the next pick. This was go this is go to fight Kev's brother if you're still curious. But go to fight Kev. The brother, Omar Delgado, is going to the Patriots. Wow, Jason Waz himself. Has a target to throw to now in Omar Delgado. Now, who is pick number three? It's Walter Turmoil. Turmoil is going to the Seattle Seahawks. He's going to be the face of the franchise, or, he, or he'll be a bust. Come on. But who knows what will happen to Mr. Walter Turmoil. Next up, how about the Vikings? Luke Adams, the cornerback, is going to the Vikings. That is crazy. Next up. Who else is the who is the Chiefs drafting? Who is going to be Mahomes' next weapon? Vorpex Floors. Damn, Vorpex Floors. That's interesting. Damn. All right. <laughs> Let's go. And now, who is who is Sal Volcano's teammate going to be? And Elliot Rodriguez. Drake Barnes. Not only does Rodriguez have an, a, have someone to throw to, but Sal Volcano... He has he has a friend to make now that's not named Pixel Drake Barnes. He's pretty dangerous. He was like he was ranked wide. He was ranked Offensive Player of the Year in the FC and FCS. It was ranked MVP of the team for Mississippi Valley State. So Drake Barnes, he you should not mess with him because he will f you up. And hopefully that translates to the big leagues. Who is Tommy's teammate going to be in order to make the Crusaders well known? Hungry Howie is going to protect Tommy as he's the number seventh overall pick. That is insane. Next up, who is the buff? Who is who is Mario? He, he going to be teammates with William Afton? Damn, two bad people are teaming up for the worst. That is that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. I can't believe it. 
Next up, the Cardinals. Will they have a new subscriber on their team? No. The football team. The football team is going to have Scrap Lasley. That is going to be the new face of the franchise. Scrap Lasley is going to be the new face of the franchise for the football team. Damn. Now, who about them Cincinnati Bengals? They just got rid of Joe Burrow. So they're picking up now plays right here. He's going to the Bungles. That is going to be insane. Now, Kyle Dele Cruz, who is going to be the face of the franchise under Kyle Kelly Cruz's Titans. It's Ocean Man. Ocean Man is going to be a Tennessee Titan. That is crazy. Next up, how about the Indianapolis Colts? They will pick no one. The Falcons. All right. All right. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. The Eagles. Damn, Commander Diego has a best friend now in Sleepy Pancake. As he is, he is the younger brother of Dino Man. And now he's picked over the bill and picked over his brother Dino Man. Next up, we got the Carolina Panthers. Okay. The Lions. All right. So now I gotta simulate until maybe something cool happens in the draft. Oh, I have to make my pick. Who am I gonna pick? Bruh, okay. Alright, next up. Damn, this is nothing's happening. Mike Hunt is gonna be Edward Oten's main target. Edward Oten's not a subscriber, but he is balling out. He is the next generation of QBs. He won MVP in Season 1, and now... He, Mike Hunt, he's going to be very happy. Now, who's going to be Kala's teammate? Oh, it's going to be no one. The Dolphins. Jimmy Radiator's a Dolphin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Nodeka's best friend, Jimmy Radiator, is going to be a Miami Dolphin. Oh, my God. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. Jimmy Radiator's a Dolphin, and he's an 80 overall. What a what a steal. Oh, my God. And Jacksonville Jaguars. Sarah is going to go to Jacksonville. Damn. Who, who is going to be... Who's going to be... A, who's going to be Ignacio's teammate? Okay. Dino Man is going to be a Baltimore Raven. That is wild. That's, oh my god, bro. Like, bro? Damn. <laughs> and now, who is going to be pick number 30? Okay, pick 31. Pick 32. Okay, and now that is the end of the first round. Who is left on the board? Alright, so now, scouted. You gotta look at scouted. So, quarterback, quarterback, running back, quarterback, halfback, halfback, quarterback, wide receiver, center. Alright, so the people left is Nick Alonzo, Easton Wetchurk, Latruck James, Harry Potter, Sequel Uncut, Jerome Not Bettis, Rodrigo Yugio, Noah Melvin, and Manta Malik. So, who else is the Texans gonna pick? Will Go to Fight Kev have a new partner? He will sequel uncut. His college teammate is teaming back up with Go to Fight Kev to go to the Houston Texans. Oh my god, bro. That is crazy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Bro, that is crazy. Who is going to be Chain's partner along with Omar? Truck James is going to be. Chain Chompkin and Omar's partner. Damn, they real damn, they really be building the draft though through the first few rounds, man, bro. Bro, I I wonder how Chain has to react to this, man. Next, so we got the Seattle Seahawks. Who else are they gonna pick? Okay. Oh, look at that. Luke Adams has a partner, and his name is Jerome, not Bettis. Look at that. That is insane. Jerome not Bettis is going to be in the draft, and that's crazy. And now, who else is going to be Mahomes' partner? No one. The Rams? Damn. Oh, okay. Alright. 
Now we just gotta wait till someone gets drafted. And look at that! The Tennessee Titans. I forgot. Oh wait, it was Ocean Man, I think. I think. I don't fucking know. But whoever was picked in round one, they are teaming up with the Tennessee Titans. Damn. So now Kyle Dela Cruz. He's building a team in this draft. Next up, the Indianapolis Colts. Okay. Hold on. Is the only three people left is like quarterbacks? Scout. It's all quarterbacks and Mansa Malik. So we have to pay attention to quarterbacks and centers. So that is going to be fun. Next. So you got to keep clicking advance next pick until you see a quarterback or a center. Like, come on. Oh, I have to make my... Should I make my selection? Nah, I should make this fair. Advance the next pick. Okay. Alright, so now... Kala. Damn. The Dolphins. Damn. So... Oh, Mansa Malik is teaming up with Dino Man. That is going to be the greatest duo of all time. Ain't nobody getting past Mansa Malik, man. He's about to be the greatest O-lineman of all time. So now, you just got to pay attention to quarterbacks. Alright, so Dominic Perry, who's not a person at all. Alright, so now we just... Oh my god! Round... Three, pick two, Nick Alonzo is going to be a Patriot. Is he going to replace Chain? I don't know. That is, that's a curious question. That is very curious. Wonder how that's going to pan out. Next up, the Seahawks. Vikings. The Vikings going to pick up Easton Wetchurk. He is going to be the future of the franchise right here. And now the Chiefs. Harry Potter is a chief. Wow. Wow. Who else is left in the draft? The scouted. Rodrigo is the last person that needs to be picked. Will this be the Rams that pick him? And look at that. Rodrigo is going to be a Buffalo Bill. That is crazy. That is going to be the end of the draft. As we made it past three rounds, let's advance to the end of the draft. As that is going to be all. Are you happy with what you got picked? And anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.